Next tonight, it's here. After months of drought warnings, a hosepipe ban officially began in parts of our region today. Anglian Water is asking people to conserve as much water as they can. But what about the millions of litres they lose through leakage? Simon Ward is at Rutland Water for us this evening. Uh, good evening, Simon. What's the situation there? Good evening. Well, Anglian Water say it's been the driest 18 months for a century. That's despite the rain we've had in the past couple of days. That hasn't been enough to stop the hosepipe ban coming into force. Now, where I am, it normally we'd be deep in water. You might be able to see the fishermen just behind me. But now the reservoir is much lower than in a normal year. In fact, it's just over 70 percent of full capacity. So not enough again to stop that hosepipe ban coming into force. Now, earlier today, I was out with a leak prevention team to find out how they carry out their work. Listening for leaks. Here in the village of Braceborough near Stamford, the team are using traditional and modern techniques. This metal rod is used to listen for the sound of water seeping out of underground pipes. Electronic devices are also used to help pinpoint leaks. This is a correlator and this, this calculates the time it takes for the leak sound to reach either sensor and converts that into a distance. Last year, Anglian Water missed its leak detection target by 8%. That's a loss of 230 million litres of water per day. The company had to improve. We've doubled our investment. We now invest £14 million in a year in leakage and, as I say, another 60 people out on the ground looking for leaks, finding leaks. And, but we need our customers to help us as well, so if they do spot a leak, tell us and we'll be out there to fix it. People in the village were generally prepared for the hosepipe ban. We frequently go to Rutton Water, the sailing to watch, and for older people, it's really good. And so we're not surprised that it's come along and we're quite ready. I definitely think it's right. I think a lot of water is wasted. We don't have baths, we have showers. And I think people, if they just consider how they're using their water, um, it'd make a great deal of difference, really. James Williams is a keen gardener. He uses rainwater to top up the pond and water plants. I think the key issue here is adapting how you use water, um, being more specific with using it um, in a spot basis rather than spraying it everywhere. Um, hose pipes are useful, let's, let's not beat around the bush, um, but they're not necessary. While efforts are being made to save water, the length of the hosepipe ban will be down to nature in the end. So Rutland Water is the source of water for Anglian customers. That's people in Stamford, Grantham and the surrounding um, areas. And Gra um, Anglian Water said to us today the ban is expected to last through the summer, possibly for the rest of the year. That's the bad news. It would take about two months of persistent rain to change that. For many other people across the East Midlands, they're served by Seven Trent Water. And Seven Trent Water said today they have no plans to bring in a hosepipe ban this summer. OK, Simon Ward, thank you. You're watching East Midlands Today, still to come. The big Easter getaway begins and the airport says passengers won't be held up by border checks.